Hi, I'm Tyler. I'm going to demonstrate setting up a custom Rocket League bot that somebody else has made, in this case written in Java for the RLBot framework. When they give it to you, it's going to be in the form of a zip file, um, and they might direct you to this spreadsheet where all the different bots that people have made live. And I'm going to show you setting up Adversity Bot. So under this link, you can find a zip file, and just right-click and download. Um, but before the zip will work, we need to do some basic framework setup. So your homework is to go to this Python section and follow this video tutorial right here. It's only three minutes long and this will get you set up using the framework. It'll get some really basic Python bots going, but the important part is that you'll uh, get the user interface set up and you'll be able to run bots in game. So once you're done with this video, uh, come right back here and resume. All right, so now we have our zip file. I'm just going to move this over to the desktop for simplicity and extract it. Now the thing about Java bots is that you have to have Java to run them. You might have Java already and you might not, so I'm going to show you how to find out easily. Once this is finally done extracting, go into this relief bot folder, or it might be different for a different bot, and then bin, and then double click on this batch file. If it does kind of nothing like that, it probably means you don't have Java. So go to java.com and do the free Java download. And go ahead and run this setup. And once this is done, you're going to have to reboot your computer. Okay, very nice. Just to prove that it doesn't work quite yet. Still a problem here. I'm going to reboot and come back, and then it should be working. Okay, I'm back from rebooting. Let's see if this batch file works now. It does. That's very good. So let's close this for now and focus on getting the framework running in the game. This is going to be something that you already did in that tutorial video I showed you earlier. Um, you probably already downloaded this zip file. I'm going to do it just for myself. And I'll put this on the desktop so we can see everything out in the open. Okay. Um, so as you're familiar with, we have this rungui.bat file. I'm going to go ahead and run that. And in here, we have the ability to modify these presets. So I'm going to click Load. And I'm going to go on the desktop and inside ReliefBot and README and AdversityBot.cfg. So if I open this, all this stuff gets preloaded. So we're good to go. And I'll click Adversity Bot and add a few more of them. And this I'm going to change to human so I can play against them myself. Okay. Uh, so now when I click Run, and make sure you have Rocket League open, I'm going to click Run, and it will uh, inject the DLL into the game. And about 20 seconds from now, the match will start. But uh, when the match starts, you'll notice that the adversity bots will not be driving yet. And that's because we closed out um, this batch file that we had from before. So you have to remember when running Java bots, you have to have this thing running uh, during the whole match. So let me just show you the fact that they're not driving yet. Okay, and then I'm going to open this up. 
and we get uh, these three orange lines for the three adversity bots. And now when I continue with the game, here they come. And here come the demolitions. Alright, so that's basically how it works. Um, if you want to learn more about how Adversity Bot in particular thinks, you can click on the details here and see this top-down field strategy. Um, a lot of Java bots work in much the same way. So you can follow this guide for not just Adversity Bot, but Relief Bot and DUI Bot and several others. I hope this worked smoothly for you, and I hope you enjoy the bots.